Hello, my name is Thomas Seidner, and I'm going to teach you how to play the game that I designed called Popularity Contest. Popularity Contest is a party game for 4 to 12 players. You get enough cards in the game to actually handle 12 players. Each player receives a hand of 0, positive 1, positive 2, negative 2, and negative 1. The idea behind Popularity Contest is to be the most popular. Therefore, being the most popular and being the last man standing. Each person is giving a hand of cards. They take those cards into their hand. And there are three phases that each player plays through in popularity contests. The first phase is the popularity phase. During the popularity phase, you pick three cards from your hand and you play them out on the table, upside down, in front of yourself or any other player playing at the table. If a player has been eliminated, they no longer receive cards when you're playing. You can play up to three cards during the popularity phase. So you could play no cards, one card, two cards, or three cards. You can play them on yourself or other players, and you can play multiples on yourself or, or multiples on other players, as long as you don't play more than three cards in your turn. Once everybody has played the number of cards that they want to play during their popularity phase, the popularity phase ends and we go to the evaluation phase. During the evaluation phase, players flip over the cards that they receive and they total their score. As you can see, my score would be negative two my opponent's score would be positive two. In this situation, I would be eliminated because I have the lowest popularity. So as long as there's three or more players in the game, he would have been eliminated. And if I was the lowest, I would have been eliminated. Once everybody has told their scores, the lowest player has been determined and eliminated and the highest player has been determined and eliminated if they have a zero, then we move on to the gather phase. During the gather phase, we gather up all the cards that we received during our turn and those cards become our new hand. If we were eliminated during the evaluation phase, then we would take our hand and we would shuffle our cards and we would select one card at random to play during the next popularity phase. The eliminated player can decide whether they want to play this face down on another player or if they decide this is not going to help them or help the person that they're trying to make more popular or less popular, they can put it back on their deck and reshuffle for the next round. Eliminated players can continue to play until they have no more cards left to play. So let's go through a quick sample round so that we can see how this works and we'll talk about some of the ways that people can be eliminated. Okay, in this situation, this player has two popularity, this player has two popularity, this one has negative three popularity, and this one has negative three popularity. So in this situation, nobody would be eliminated because in popularity contests, there's a rule called safety in numbers. And safety in numbers states that if you're tied with anybody for either highest or lowest popularity, no one is eliminated. Now, if the situation would have been like this, where this player has negative four popularity, this player has negative two popularity, and in this instance, this player would be eliminated. In a situation like this, both of these players would be eliminated because this person is the least popular and this person is the most popular, but they have the zero. Now, if there are only two players left in the game, then this player would be the ultimate winner because when there's only two players left in the game, the zeros are null and void. So this does not take effect. So in this situation, this person is the most popular and they win the game. There can be a situation where a player has no cards in this situation, this player's score would be zero. This player could be eliminated if zero was the lowest popularity. And that's pretty much it. 
Gameplay continues until there's only one player left, and that person is the most popular and the winner of popularity contests. Now with fewer players, four or five players, if you want to have a more strategic game, you can add a dice to the mix. What you do is you give each player a dice, you set all of their dice to one. Every time you play a game of popularity contest, you increase your pip if you're the winner by one. The first player to get to six is the ultimate winner and the most popular. And that's it. That's popularity contest. I hope you enjoy the game. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Otherwise, happy gaming.